All right, I'm uh, reviewing this uh, Indio Classic Tele that I just got, um, and I can just briefly tell you that I was pleasantly surprised with the finish on this guitar. Uh, in the picture, it looked just like a standard red, but it actually has like a, a, a metallic red, and it's really nice. It's just like a candy apple metallic red, and it's got a really nice finish on it. It is through the body stringing. Um, the neck is, feels really nice straight out of the box. It's got a nice, I think it's a C shape, a medium C, not too thin, not too thick. It feels just right to me. Um, I believe this is a bone nut. It looks pretty well cut straight away. I did have to, what I do on all new guitars when I uh, get them is, uh, and, and when I string them, is I put a little lube on, lubrication on the nut and on the string trees so nothing snags when I'm tuning. These tuners are, you know, your standard sort of Asian tuners. Not amazing, but definitely not bad. They, they tune up well. It's a little bit of a hitch on the low E string, but it's not affecting anything. Uh, I probably will upgrade the tuners on this guitar at some point, maybe put locking tuners. Besides that, everything just feels really solid. Uh, the fret ends probably could use a slight little bit of dressing little tiny bit of uh, fret sprout there, a little little bit of a jagged edge, nothing crazy. It's definitely playable, um, but yeah, definitely want to clean that up a little bit. That's the only thing I noticed uh, right off the bat that was seems like a little bit of a flaw. The other thing was that the, the neck uh, truss rod was completely loose. And there was a little bit of a bow in the neck, and uh, I straightened it out with a, you know, I had to give it a few turns till it actually started to to catch. That's how loose it was. It was as if they loosened, completely loosened the truss rod, maybe for shipping or for whatever reason. Um, a couple of turns on that and it seems pretty good. The action feels okay. It's not too low. It's maybe a little tiny bit high then, but, um, but I didn't make any adjustments to the action or the setup. So basically my goal was to just get the thing to hold tune, a little bit of a, a nut loop, a little pulling, uh, stretching the strings, and the guitar seems to be holding tune very well at this point. No snags on the, uh, the tuner. So, um, I'll give you a quick demo. One other thing I'll say is this. The switch feels really nice. It's smooth and it's very quiet. Which is very quiet and it feels good. Uh, it doesn't feel too flimsy, but, you know, it works fine. Um, the knobs are actually... Uh, a lot of these Asian guitars that I've had, they come with, you know, just pull off metal knobs. These are the metal knobs. These are really nice though. They have the little Allen screws on them. So they're nice and snug on there. And you know, you'll need an Allen key to pop them off. But um, other than that, I didn't even remove the plastic from the pickguard. I did take the piece of plastic and I had to raise the neck pickup just a little. It was a bit low just to balance the two pickups. Okay, all that said, um, the neck has a really smooth, nice satin. Um, it doesn't seem like it's unfinished, and it definitely looks like they gave this wood a nice stain. Um, some of these Asian guitars that you come out, the neck looks quite pale. There's some nice grain in the back of the wood here. I don't know if you can see it. So to kind of give you a close up there, um, it's, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty grain. It's a uh, and it's, it's got a nice color to it. It's not pale like some of the woods that I've seen. I like that there's some actual earthy kind of wood tone to this, this neck. So I don't know if this is rosewood. It's supposed to be, but can't really tell. It looks a little bit more blackish than regular rosewood, but it seems fine and again, the edges of the fretboard seem nice. The shape of the neck feels good. So probably just needs a little bit of dressing on the frets. The frets themselves, um, they don't feel bad. They have, uh, they're smooth enough, definitely playable. I mean, of course I give them a polish, but they look all right. And I like that the frets are, they're kind of, they're not like the medium jumbo frets. I would say they're Probably just a medium fret, not too high, which I actually prefer. I like a low, of course, a vintage kind of fret, low and thin, to be honest with you. Uh, I, thought, I find that 
intonation is easier for the way I play. I use heavier strings, so sometimes I'm gonna be pressing a little harder. But um, these feel like tens on here. Um, they don't feel overly light. Um, I'll obviously want to put new strings on this thing. I'll probably put 11s. But all my blabbering aside, let's hear how this thing sounds. And uh, gotta say right away, as soon as I plugged it in, I was like, this thing sounds like a telly. It's got decent weight, balanced well and uh, not super heavy, it's nice solid. Everything feels pretty solid on this guitar. Um, so let, I'll give you the bridge position and I'll just you know kind of play around here a little and see how, what we got. Right now I'm just gonna open up. Oh, I do like a lot of these guitars. I'm finding that the, the volume and tone pots work quite well on them. So. expect in the bridge position uh, definitely <laughs> but I find it sounds really good I am kind of impressed with the the sound of this pickup um, the bridge position it looks pretty good sounds good um, all right up a little. I'm, I'm totally in the clean channel here. I'm playing through a trainer, uh, whatever this is, 80 watt, uh, 212, uh, all tube amp, playing out of the clean channel. I've got everything almost about, at, you know, about four and four on the volume and the treble. I, I do crank the bass kind of high on this because this amp doesn't have a lot of low end and I want some warmth. Um, mid range is at 12 o'clock and master volume is about three and a half, four. So you definitely get an aggressive tone, even on the clean channel with the volume all the way up, treble all the way up. It just cuts. It's got that cut. Trouble. Cut the volume a little bit. straight away out of the this bridge position. Alright, let's hear the middle position.
Yeah, let's hear the neck position. dynamics honestly the, the tones out of this are pretty good straight out of the box I mean Jesus I paid I think this was on blowout clearance this red one uh, was $69 brand spanking new off of mono prices website and uh, I don't know how you can really go wrong just the body alone even if you were to scrap everything else on the guitar, I think it's, this is worth the $69. The neck feel is really good. I think once I sand you know, the edges down a little bit on this fretboard, put some new tuners on here, I got a pretty killer guitar for next to nothing, really, brand new. Um, so, some people, uh, oh, I'll take the tuner off this, got the, the Monoprice hook there. I'm probably gonna sand that down just because it's, I don't know. Little, little hooky for me but um but otherwise man I'm kind of blown away with the guitar all right let's hear some dirty sounds okay let's hear some dirty sounds I'm gonna go to a dirty channel again I have the gain up a little on the amp not a lot I'm not driving it really hard I just want you to hear like volume control on the guitar to adjust sort of the aggressiveness of the gain.
nine dollars. All right, with tax, I think it was free shipping. Honestly, with tax, it was I don't know, it was seventy nine, eighty dollars. It's kind of crazy. Um, if you <laughs> are looking for a really nice, solid Telecaster on a budget, brand new. They got a bunch of colors. Now, I think they're going for about a hundred bucks for the different colors, but the, this one sold out with uh, that blowout deal. But I don't know, man. I I can't see, I can't justify spending, you know, $450. Let's say I, I, had, a, I had a Squire Classic Vibe Thin Line. It was a nice guitar, but for the money, yeah, I could put nicer pickups and nicer tuners on this guitar and, you know, do a little bit of tiny touch-up on the frets and I can't justify paying, you know, 450 when I can pay, you know, even with the pickups upgrade, you know, if I, if I sunk another $50, $80 in this guitar, I'm still under $200 and it looks great. So yeah, thumbs up, double thumbs up for me. Good job on this guitar. Um, I have, I, uh, I will just close out by saying I have tried Indio, no, this is the first Indio I've ever tried. I've tried um, an Iwi or Evi, Evi or IYV. I, I have a thin line. It's got P90s in it. I love the way it plays. I love the way it sounds. It's got a little bit of neck dive because of the semi-hollow and, and a more solid neck. Not really crazy about the way it looks. I'm not big on F-holes in general, but um, this thing looks cool. I think you could play rock, you could play blues, country it's kind of for me this looks like a rock star guitar um, I tried the Lix Pro didn't like it that much felt a little bit flimsy I mean it played nice out of the box no fret you know the fret ends and everything were great the eye weave plates played really nice straight out of the box I had a grow I still have a groat um, thin line I like the shape of the guitar and I don't even mind the F hole on it. It's got a faux flame thing in the gray. It works okay for me, but it definitely needed work. This bridge is really nice and solid. It's a six um, saddle flat bridge, not an ashtray, but straight away it's really solid. Nothing buzzing, nothing rattling. I had rattling and buzzing with the Grote um, with their six saddle system that was kind of a wacky setup. I, I wasn't crazy about the bridge on that. I had to use some Loctite and I had to do a bunch of stuff to get that guitar up to snuff. So this is a way better guitar straight out of the box. And in fact, I will say out of all of the low end, let's call them low end, you know, China Telecasters or Asian Telecasters that I've tried, this one is straight, straight out of the box. Maybe I, I got lucky. I got a good one, but way better than any of the other ones that I've tried. This, this one's a keeper for me. So, um, yeah, hopefully you found the, this review helpful and rock on.